Hello everybody and welcome to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Now this is a classic RPG from 2004 that I've been really, really wanting to play for a long time. I happened to stumble across a copy of it in a second hand game shop and uh, got it, got the patch for it, made it work. All seems pretty fantastic. Uh, I've yet to actually play it though, so... Uh, I've only heard about this game. Recommendations from friends and the internet in general because people seem to like this. But I've never experienced it for myself. So, this will be interesting. The world of darkness is a place where immortal monsters pull the strings of humanity. Violence and despair are common here. The world is bleak, but escape is an ever-present commodity. Perhaps too present. A new game starts with creating a new character. Would you like to answer a series of questions about the type of vampire you would like to play and allow the game to create your character, or go directly to the character sheet and set your character's clan attributes and abilities yourself? Ooh, tough choice, because normally I would like to customise it myself, but at the same time I think answering the questions could be interesting. So... Would you like your character to be a male or female? Eh, I'll go with male for now. You're in a convenience store looking through the beer freezer when all of a sudden a man walks in and pulls a gun on the cashier. Do you sneak up behind him, disarm him and proceed to beat him senseless? Or quietly make your way to the bathroom and lock yourself in? If I lock myself in the bathroom and he's got a gun, he can just shoot through the door if he really wants to kill me. But if I can sneak up behind him to sun and beat him senseless, why the hell not? I mean, if I'm going to be a vampire, I can probably do that without too much risk. In fact, that might be the less risky option and far more fun. So, that one. You're outbid at an auction for a macabre piece of art that you must have. You know the collector who won it. You've even been to his house. Do you get a few drinks into him later and persuade him to sell it to you? Wait until he leaves, find a spare key, and make it look like a robbery. Write an unflattering critique on the artist, get it published, and just wait for your friend to try and unload it. Interesting! That last one seems like the sneakiest option. A rather fun way of doing things. But, on the other hand, it could just straight up not work, because... You know, what if A he finds out it's you and gets in on your little game and decides that you're doing that on purpose. I mean, to be honest with you, the most likely option to work seems like number one. Get him drunk and buy it off him that way. So let's do that. You were mugged last night. It wasn't life-threatening. But you want to take some measures to make sure that if it happens again, you aren't defenceless. Do you? Sign up for a martial arts class. Next time they try it, you'll break their spine. Start carrying a knife and consider it in your belt. Next person who tries to breathe. Next person who tries it breathes through a hole in their neck. Or buy a gun. Next mugger is sidewalk meat. Hmm. The thing is with the knife and the gun. They are kind of escalation things. If you're carrying those around then you're more likely to get shot or stabbed in the first place because if you've got a weapon then they're more likely to use theirs if you can catch them by surprise with unarmed combat martial arts seems like an interesting way to go seem non-threatening and snap them in half while in a club you spot your ex-roommate who skipped out after taking your stuff and leaving you with a stack of bills he looks dead drunk do you grab him by the head and repeatedly bash his face into the bar or call the cops, see you in court, buddy. Ooh. Ooh, that's tough. Because, you see, the anger side of me really, really, really would want to just smash this guy's face repeatedly. But, in the long run, actually, see you in court is probably the most satisfying option. You're at a nightclub, having a damn good time, when you realise you're out of money. No cash, no fun. Do you seduce somebody and have them pay for your drinks? Time it just right so you can snatch a bottle when the bartender isn't looking, 
or go home and read a book and listen to music, something more intellectually stimulating than wasting life in a lame club. Okay, personally, number three, I would much rather be at home than in a club. Can't stand the damn places. It's late. You're at the red spot, waiting for your microwave burrito to heat up. There are three arcade games to waste some time on. Which one do you play? The fighting game. Pull off the triple flash uppercut as a finisher every time. That beat-em-up game where you can pick up the bat and womp the hordes of generic thugs. Or that sniper game with the realistic gun for a controller. I would go for the fighting game. They're much more my style. As you're walking home late at night, you hear footsteps, glance back and suddenly realise someone is following you. Do you turn to confront them or duck behind a tree to lose them? Turn to confront them. No point ducking behind a tree and trying to lose somebody. If they're following you and you've only just noticed them, confront them. Well, that's what I'd do anyway. Not necessarily the sensible option, but why not? Your new neighbour is everything you've ever wanted in someone. How do you get them to go out with you? Spend a good amount of time around. The window's topless. They'll come running in no time. Or they'll probably be impressed by how hard you work. The flashy new car can't hurt either. Okay, well, if I spent any time around windows topless, people will run away. So let's go for number two. The world's a cruel and unforgiving place, but you've gotten by so far. Why? Someone gets in my way, I kick their ass. That's why. Not really. I live alone. I don't need others. Just me, my dog, and hell with the rest. Neither of those really apply, but the second one is more likely to apply. You have been embraced by the Gangrel clan, sometimes called nomads, loners, and introverts. The Gangrel spurn the trappings of civilization and prefer to roam the wilds in solitude. Known for having an uncanny connection with the beast within, some learn the power to shapeshift. Alrighty then, the gangrels it is. Your vampire's attributes and abilities have now been determined and entered into its character sheet, which you will see next. After your tour of the character sheet, you may make changes to the character or simply play it as is. Right, so... Yes, thank you. Attributes and abilities, blah de blah de blah Members of the Analytic Angle can are close to their inner beast, so your strongest attribute is physical... You have one point to spend in mental and non in social. The gangrel's weakest attribute. As for abilities, gives you an advantage in their warrior skills with three points to spend. You have only average abilities in talents, which is two points, and weak in knowledge, which is one point. Right. Uh, I didn't think that was how I'd answered the questions, but sure. Feats are the actions you perform in the game. Feats are derived from adding an attribute and an ability. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks, cool, nice. And animalism and fortitude. And protein, which is shape-shifting. Ooh, shape-shifting, nice. This is your humanity. Seven is the norm, ten is saintly, and the lower you go, the closer to the beast you become. Also, the lower your humanity, the greater your chances of frenzying. When a vampire goes into a frenzy, he loses all control and attacks any and all things around him. However, as you gain experience, you can spend experience points to increase your humanity. Okay. And this is where your masquerade violations are displayed. The masquerade is a code by which many vampires unlive. At any time a vampire is seen doing a supernatural act by a mortal, it is considered a masquerade violation. You have five chances, and each strike will have repercussions. If you commit five masquerade violations, you will be dealt with harshly. All right, then. And this is where all information on things you are hovering over is displayed. The auto level on-off button, blah, 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 blah. I'll probably be turning that off because I like leveling up for myself. Okay. So they put points into strength and stamina for me and nothing into dex. Sure. Uh, I've got no points in social. Uh, I've got nothing in perception. Sod all in intelligence. But a bit of wits. Defense and hacking. Sure. Talents, I've got 
some brawl and some dodge. No intimidation or subterfuge. Skills, firearms, melee, and security is how locks and security systems work. Just the lock picking feat, okay. And for my knowledge, is I've got a bit of computer knowledge. I know how to use a computer, great. But apparently, not how finance works, not how to investigate anything, and not how to do anything scholarly. This is so not the character I would have created, but sure. Uh, animalism levels. Uh, okay, so I can... Oh, these are, like, things I can use to... I've got soup. I've got blood powers, which I gain by... Well, I gain blood by drinking blood, weirdly enough. And... These are the powers I can get from it. So it's given me something in fortitude, which currently will give me... Adds two guaranteed points to all soak feats. So that's me soak damage. That's really good, considering I've only got two little bits of soap damage in one of the three areas. That's cool. Uh, that all seems fine. Right. The Embrace. The act of transforming a mortal into a vampire. That's nice to know. Now I know what it's called. Um, that's an interesting opening too. Oh, that's why it told me about the embrace. Is that me? I get the fit. Yeah, that's me, and I've just been bit and turned into a vampire, haven't I? Okay, and I've been stabbed. Awesome. Good evening. My fellow kindred. My apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As Prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Shit, you fugly. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. I want your sword. Which leads to the fate of the ill begotten I mean, progeny. given that I've Without just been desire, sleeping with the person that you decapitated and turned to dust, I should probably feel something other than, I want your sword. The laws they must obey. But that's kind of the Therefore, overriding feeling I'm getting here. I have decided here. that this is bullshit! If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. 
Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Well, it mentioned in the opening character creation thing that violations of the masquerade would be dealt with harshly, and I think what that served to do was hammer that the fuck home. Your sire, tragic, my apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must, must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So... What I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. That's this kind of is you. Your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. You seem like a pleasant chap. Not only do vampires hide from mortals, they hide from themselves as well, pretending they are not the horrors they have truly become. Yay! Controls tutorial. Waz and the mouse. Cool. And, oh, it's that switch between first person and third person. Do, 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 do. Okay, where am I going? Sure, you seem all right, but who the fuck are you? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide, and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. Win her out. Sure, I'm in. You're helping. Uh. Just... All right. Uh, why don't we uh step out back here? Well, I. Apparently, I like it where I am, because, well, yeah, being out of the theatre is great, not being on stage with the big dude with the sword is cool. Rice and stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. You know, you could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? No, no, I haven't, and I'm going to assume you mean blood. That's a shame. Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming I find this guy and drain him. You go down there casually. You creep up on him. You bury those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something. Because it'll come so naturally. Well, that's handy. It it really has been a stupid night. A drink sounds like a fine idea, Jack. Now go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. I'll assume there's a reason for that, but okie dokie then. This is your blood pool. Blood is the fuel for your vampiric powers or disciplines. When your blood pool is low, you'll need to refill it. Humans are an abundant source of blood in most areas of the game. One is in the alley around the corner. That's awesome. Hello, food bag. Feeding on humans fills your blood pool. Yeah, I got that. 
To feed, approach your victim and press F when you are close. It's important that humans do not see you feeding on other humans. That's great. And that top bar is the victim's blood. I need to make sure I don't kill him. Great. Sucks to be you. And then I press F again when I want to stop draining your blood. Yeah, drain as much as I can without killing you. There you go. I filled my blood pool. You're not dead. I'm okay. Just to leave you there. Can I... Do I need to do anything else with you? Are you just going to stand there? You're just going to stand there. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Oh yeah, that'd make a good point there in the suggestions. I'm a vampire. When the hell do I get the cape? All right, now you got the blood. You're feeling all kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living. But wait, it gets better. All kindred, kindred—that's a our word for vampire. All kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. And those are sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still a chance at immortality's not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. Nice. So this whole living forever if you play your cards right thing. Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic? Cross, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a snake, only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire, that's real trouble. Sunlight, well, you can catch a sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? Fair enough. I got it. Hey, now. I have no idea. Okay. Thanks, Jack. Uh, oh, the use icon appears when you're able to use the object in front of you. The use key is E. Ah, uh, context button. Nice. Which, in this case, will let me open a door. Yeah. And I can jump. Fantastic. Inspection is a feat. Compensation of blah, 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 which lets me find things. Awesome. And I can pick stuff up with the context key. Ta-da! Gained a lockpick, which I believe I have like a point of skill in. Oh, hello again, Jack. How the fuck did you get ahead of me? What do we do about it? What exactly is this guy a prince of? No time for political run now. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a pleasure like he wants to mess with. Fair enough. I suppose we run then. <laughs> it's up. Oh, it's you again. And you seem to be ignoring the submachine gun. And they don't seem to be ignoring the spectral wolves that you've summoned. Did you just set him on fire with your mind? Right. Okay. Well, I'm glad he's on our side. Bastards. Uh, 
All right, we gotta go loose out the back quick. I'll stay. You keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. All right, I'm on it. Oh, and I have a quest log. Nice. Do 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 do. So, what do I need to get into? This is a door which I can't open. This is a door which I can open. Okay. Once you begin lock picking, you'll see this bar represents the time needed to pick the lock. If the value of your lock picking is equal to or greater than the difficulty of the lock, you'll be able to pick it. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. Lock picking succeeded at difficulty of one. So literally can't fail because you get like a basic point in lock picking. No matter what you do. How are you already in here, you prick? Ah, uh, shortcut. Well, actually done though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? I can handle myself. Cool. Now if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes for the most sabot asshole. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. Wait, I've still got that list of people from high school. What kind of prick am I playing? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Eh, it sort of makes sense. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a legend like you. Okay, but what could happen? That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. The Magilla Gorilla, so that's what the big guy is called. I'm gonna pick saying I see rather than calling them good guys, considering you just called them assholes. Right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little bit. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Okay, and what does that what mean? You gotta do. Bap, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These would be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. You gotta get out the back. Magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. Let's have a look for it then. Area indicator. The area to the left indicator in a combat area. Okay, combat. Anything goes. Masquerade. Respect the masquerade. Elysium is vampire neutral ground. No combat. All disciplines are allowed except blood buff while lock picking. Right. In masquerade areas, breaking the masquerade can carry dire consequences. Such as the unwanted attention of vampire hunters. Ask a five masquerade violations, your game is over. It's just straight up over. Right, shit. Current number of violations is displayed in the upper right corner of your character sheet. Well. I feel like we've been taking this on for quite some time. So, we will leave Jack here for now. And pick this up next time. So thank you all very much for joining me. I hope you're having as much fun with this as I am. Bye for now.